everybody. This is Jessica from Cornerstone Physical Therapy. Wanted to take a couple minutes today and talk to everybody about the importance of loading our tendons in a concentric and eccentric manner. So quick little definitions on what that means. So concentric contraction, or if you're thinking about the elbow, for example, would be if you bend the elbow up, you're going to use the biceps muscle in a shortening phase. So that is going to strengthen the muscle concentrically. Now, if you have a load, I'm going to show you with this weight here, and you slowly start to lower the elbow and extend, this is eccentrically strengthening the biceps muscle. So this concept is really important when we talk about tendon healing. So a lot of times when we run into pain at our elbow, either medial or lateral, or at our patellar tendon at our knee, we think about, let me rest it, let me do some stretching and see if we can get this to feel better and alleviate the pain. But most of the research shows now, and if you look into it a little bit deeper, that we need to load these tendons eccentrically, not just concentrically. So we need to place the tendons under load in a lengthening phase. So what this is going to do is it's going to create small tears in the muscle, which is actually going to bring blood flow to the area and create more resiliency in the tendon. These exercises would not be considered to necessarily be what you would want to do all the time in your workout programs because eccentric loading does cause more soreness into an area. So you can think about it in the way of in regards to your patellar tendon at your knee, if you were going to do eccentric or pause squats or really slow tempo squats, that is going to take your quad into an eccentric contraction because it's lengthening as you go down into that squat. And this is going to cause a little bit more soreness than if you were doing knee extensions where the quad is going to contract concentrically. So in regards to tendon healing, a lot of times in physical therapy, when a patient comes in with complaints of patellar tendon pain, Achilles pain is another really big one where we really want to eccentrically load these tendons or elbow pain, we want to explain and educate everybody that not only are we going to load this tendon in the manner of how we think the tendon is going to work, for example, in the Achilles tendon, it's going to push, your, push you up off of the floor like you're doing a heel raise, but we're going to put you on the edge of a step and we want to see you slowly and controlly lower your heel below the step to eccentrically load that Achilles tendon to bring more resiliency to that tendon so that we're increasing blood flow. And then throughout time, as you go back to doing the activities that you may not have been doing because this has been painful, the tendon has a greater amount of strength in not only a shortened but a lengthened phase. If you think of this practically in regards to the knee, for example, if you're hiking, and you're going up the mountain, we are concentrically loading our patellar tendon. We are placing the load through it as the knee is in a bent phase. If you're hiking down, this is going to require eccentric control of your quadriceps and your patellar tendon as your knee tracks over top of your ankle. So that's going to kind of eccentrically load and require that tendon to be really strong so that you don't run into issues of patellar tendonitis quadriceps pain, or even pain into the hip or lower parts of the body. So keep in mind, if you're doing some strengthening and you're kind of running into some issues of some elbow pain, if you're a tennis player or a golfer, or if you're a runner and you're running into some knee pain, same thing with the ankle. Don't always do your strengthening in a phase where you're constantly, I'll see if I can show you, where you're constantly bending this way, but make sure that you take that load and you lower that load and you eccentrically lengthen the biceps muscle so that you're getting the muscle stronger in a shortened phase and in a lengthened phase. Same thing with the knee. If you're wanting to, all, to strengthen the knee, don't always do step ups onto a step, but try to practice doing a step down where you eccentrically and you slowly control your motion stepping down placing load into the front of your knee while creating more resiliency in that patellar tendon. So I hope that gave everybody a little bit of insight on the difference between eccentric 
and concentric loading and what that might mean. We're also going to have a couple other little videos of some examples and exercises. So you can tune into that and check that out also. Um, once again, this is Cornerstone Physical Therapy. If you have any further questions about anything, or if you're running into any of these issues of having what you think might be tendon pain or pain at your elbow, your knee, or your Achilles tendon, where you think, I think maybe this concentric and eccentric loading is something I need, give us a call. Our number is right there on the screen, 828-684-3611. And we'd be more than happy to kind of check it out for you and give you a little bit more in-depth of what we could um, help you with in a physical therapy evaluation. Hope everybody has a great day. And we'll tune in with you later. Thanks.